I'm Kyle with DoMyOwn.com. When it comes to overseeding your cool season lawn, it's a strategic process and timing is key. Let's walk through some basic tips to keep in mind as you're doing this yourself. Overseeding isn't just about tossing some grass seed onto your lawn. It's spreading additional seed over an existing lawn and enhancing the coverage, density, and variety. Think of it as giving your lawn a makeover. If you notice thin or bare patches on your turf that might be losing its vibrant color, overseeding might be the answer for you. Overseeding can refresh and improve the look of your lawn. When should I overseed my cool season lawn? The best time to overseed your cool season lawn, including fescue, ryegrass, Kentucky bluegrass, and more is in the fall. While timing can vary by region, make sure to give your grass seed enough time to establish itself before the winter and first frost hits. Your grass will have a better chance to thrive in the fall months without the weed competition from these grassy annual weeds that might germinate in your lawn in the spring months. All right, once you've got your timing down and you've decided that overseeding is right for you, there are five steps to prepare your lawn for overseeding. These will make a big difference in overseeding effectiveness. Step one, scalp the lawn. Mow the existing lawn down to the ground to give the seeds better contact to the soil. Step two, clean up lawn debris such as fallen leaves, sticks, fallen fruit, seeds, or anything else that's left over in your lawn. Remove as much as you can. Step three, remove moss from the surface of your lawn. This ensures more seed to soil contact. Step four, dethatch. Use a stiff rake or a power rake to dethatch your lawn. And finally, step five, aerate. Right before seeding, aerate the area. These additional steps will help you achieve the best results. One, make sure you do a soil test. A soil test is very important for your lawn. This will tell you maybe what your lawn needs or doesn't need, as in fertilizer, or maybe you need some pH balance or something like that. We have many more videos on our website about the soil test. Check those out if you got more questions. Two, check soil temperature. Make sure it's right for your seed. Three, calculate the amount of grass seed that you're gonna need per square foot for your lawn. For instance, you may need three to five pounds per 1,000 square foot. This is an example, but your specific lawn will depend on the spreader calibration and lawn size. Four, seed right after you get done aerating. Plan your timing of overseeding so that it's right after you're done with your aeration. Five, watering is one of the most important parts. Keep the area watered consistently if rain isn't in the horizon. Once you've prepared your lawn for overseeding and follow the tips for the best results, it's time to spread the seed. Make sure you calibrate your spreader before you begin if you haven't already done that. We'll link our videos here for a step-by-step -step process on how to calibrate your spreader. Fill your spreader according to the label, adjust the settings, and walk the area with straight lines for even coverage. After seeding, water the area once or twice a day until the new grass catches up with the old grass in your lawn. With these tips and the right products from DoMyOwn.com, you're all set to overseed like a pro. You're just one step closer towards that lush green dream of a lawn that's the envy of your neighbors. Thanks for watching and don't forget to comment and subscribe for more lawn care and pest control videos and tell us what you'd like to see more of in the comments.